everybody, today we're going to install the Extreme End Gigabit Router. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So today what I wanted to do was install our most popular router and that's the DIR655 Extreme N Gigabit Router. It has our high powered 802.11n radios in it. So on the wireless side, you're gonna get really good range and speed. And then on the wired side, it has gigabit ports. So uh, any of your wired devices are gonna have uh, really good speed as well. And one of the cool features of this router is that it has a QoS engine in it. And that stands for quality of service. And what that means is that your time sensitive applications um, and different data that's going to and from the internet um, will be prioritized um, to make it, you know, like a really smooth uh, lag free connection. So the first thing that we need to do is open up the package and see what's inside. So let's go ahead and do that. Out of the box, you'll find the router, the power supply, some screws with some plastic wall mounts, a vertical stand, some rubber feet, an ethernet cable, and the documentation. So now before we actually install the router, uh, one thing that you want to determine is how you want to orient it. Uh, most people just, you know, set it on a desk, you know, horizontal. Uh, in this case, what you want to do is you want to set the antennas to be just like this to get the maximum coverage um, on the wireless. The second way to do it would be to use the vertical stand. You can take these little rubber feet and attach them in these little round circles on the bottom and then the uh, it won't slide around. Now if you're going to do it in the vertical position, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put it in the stand and then you're going to want to position the antennas like this. Now the third method is to use these holes that are on the back of the router and hang it on the wall using the screws and the plastic wall mounts. Um, if you want more information for that, just watch this episode at the bottom here and it'll show you how to do that. Now, as you can see by this bright orange sticker here on the top of the router, we need to run the quick router setup wizard off of the CD before we actually do the hardware installation. So let's go ahead and get this started. Insert the CD and let it auto run. When the welcome screen comes up, click the big install router button in the middle of the page. On the next page is the end user license agreement. Click agree. Next, you will be asked to select a language. Now the wizard will check your network adapter and your internet connection. Once those have passed the test, you're going to remove the sticker from the router. There is also a plastic film that needs to be removed because it blocks the vent holes. Disconnect the power from your broadband modem. Disconnect the ethernet cable from the back of your modem and connect it to one of the four blue LAN ports on the back of your router. Now connect the router power supply to a power strip, then to the router. The wizard is now going to determine what model of router you have and upload some basic settings. This could take a couple of minutes, so be patient. Connect the provided Ethernet cable into the gray Internet port on the router. Then connect the other end into the Ethernet port where you disconnected the cable from your modem. The last hardware step is to reconnect your modem's power. The next thing we'll do is enter your username and password for your DSL connection. If you have cable broadband, you will skip this step. On the next screen, input a password for your router. I recommend using both letters and number when creating it. Next, you will change the name or SSIDs for your wireless network. On the following page, you're going to choose the type of wireless security. I highly recommend using WPA unless you have to use WEP for a legacy device. At the bottom of the page, you will enter a wireless passphrase. Just like with your router, you should use letters and numbers. Now you will be asked if you would like to optimize your router for the best speed. Leave this checked for the best results. On this page, you can check your settings. If they are correct, you're going to want to write them down. We have provided a nice place inside the CD holder's cover. Now the settings will be uploaded to the router. Once the step is complete, it is just a matter of clicking the finish button to complete the setup. 
Okay, there you have it. That's the installation for the uh, Extreme N Gigabit Router, the DIR655. As you can see, it's really simple to set up using the Quick Router Setup Wizard. Um, so that's going to do it for our 100th episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.